Hey guys, today we're talking about tennis elbow. Pain in the elbow joint, um, also known as lateral epicondylitis. A lot easier to call it tennis elbow. Here's what happens, um, I'm gonna use Ben as a demonstration here. Uh, what happens with tennis elbow is we have repeated movements that create havoc where the common extensor tendon attaches to that bone called the radius. So we have two bones in the forearm, a little bit of an anatomy review, we have the ulna and we have the radius. The radius is where all the extensors, maybe Ben, you can make a fist, you'll see the muscles here, uh, they attach to that bony prominence called the epicondyle. So that's why we can call it lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow. And basically the tendons, sorry, the muscles come over here, the tendons attach to the bone. And because of the rep repetitive movements we're gonna talk about in a second, these muscles start to pull on that tendon. And as the tendons get pulled from the bone, you start to develop inflammation, which is what creates the pain. So what movements can people be aware of that could create this? Well, for one, tennis, racket sports, the backhand is what creates that uh, pain in through that common extensor tendon. It can also yeah. come from the typing. Doc, I don't play tennis. I don't play tennis, <laughs> but I do work at a desk uh, right. for most of the day. And so it can come from that repetitive stress of typing as well. Oh, and you might be a driver. You might say, well, I'm driving for most of the day, bus driver for the city here. Well, your, your wrist is sitting in extension. Right. This is loading that common extensor tendon chronically. And then what happens is you go at the end of the day and you decide to flex your wrist forward, that muscle is so tight, mm -hmm. pulling on that, uh, that boning prominence, causing pain. And what actually happens is at the site, I'll use this one here, at the site where the bone attaches all these tendons, you actually get micro tears from that repetitive movement of that muscle, you know, forcibly, you know, moving on that bone. So you get those micro tears and that's what creates that inflammation. Now you do tend to see it equally men and women, but it does say, more over 40, right? Mm -hmm. So we have noticed that on the stats that we read. And it, and it will impact between 1 and 3% of the population at some point during your lifetime. And so it is a really common injury that's seen um, in through the workplace as well as in the regular gen pop. Uh, so definitely something that walks into our office oh, uh, very often on occasion. So I'm Dr. Clayton Roche. And I'm Dr. Ben Boudreau. Today we're talking about tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis. And if you stick around until the end, we will show you a treatment that we would do here in the office um, for tennis elbow, or at least an example of what we would do. Now we geek all over this stuff and we love this stuff. And if you've been enjoying our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. We're on Twitter. I think we're on Pinterest too. So you might some, see some pictures on there too. Uh, but what do we do for this? So. In the office, we're gonna do two things. In the office, what we would do in terms of a treatment, and then what you can do at home as well. So one of the first things you wanna do is you wanna release that tension that's sitting right here at the bony attachment. So one of the things that we will do is we will extend the forearm. This shortens the muscle. We apply a pressure where we're basically approximating getting the muscle closer to the bone, and then I ask Ben to bring the wrist downwards. So now what's happening is that muscle is basically lengthening underneath my thumb. Nice thing that I want to show is almost is that if we were, if this was the muscle and it's all bunched up together and I ask Ben, I've got my thumb right here. As Ben brings the wrist down, that muscle is now able to get all the wrinkles out and that provides a great way for the, that muscle to work better. The other Absolutely. muscle, so that was the extensors. The other muscle is called the supinator. The supinator lays like this, and what we want to do is we want to shorten it by going this way. We apply a pressure, and then we pronate or internally rotate at the elbow. And Ben will feel this because there is a nerve underneath the supinator called the radial nerve. And you can actually feel sometimes a little tingling there if you're going too hard. If your chiropractor doesn't like you and he's pushing too hard, <laughs> you might notice a little bit of pain there. So we release the extensor, common extensor tendon, we release the supinator, and then we throw something at you to do at home. Exactly, and so something that you can do at home that's really, really easy is a stretch for that common extensor tendon. Like we said, you know, the muscle is chronically short, and so what we want to do is lengthen it. An easy stretch to do at home is take the hands, back of the hand against back of the hand on the opposite side, and then depending on which side is bothering you more, you're just gonna bring one arm to that side. So in this case, it's my left, and I can really feel that tension build up and through that common extensor. 
and then if we wanted to do the right, we would just slowly go to the other side. About a 10 second hold or so. You don't want to hold this for too, too, too long. And how often would you do that, Ben? Normally you do that at the beginning of the day, middle of the day, and at the end of your day after that full day of stress on that common tendon. Right. Now none of this would be done after a proper until you've done a proper physical exam. And so yeah. when you come into the chiropractic office, we'll go through a um, array of orthopedic tests. And these are just testing to see the quality of the muscles, joints, and the nerves um, that surround that painful area. And then from there, we can determine if we do need some images, right, yeah. x-rays. Um, there are different causes for lateral elbow pain, so we want to ensure that we have the correct diagnosis. And yeah. a part of that is doing these tests and getting an x-ray. Because the danger, everybody throws the word tennis elbow around when there's elbow pain, but the reality is it could come from a faulty shoulder, a faulty neck, uh, wrists, arthritis at the elbow joint. So we want to make sure that we've you know, we found what the cause of the problem is. We're not just treating a muscle that's a symptom and it'll feel good, but then it's all gonna come crashing back down and it'll be in the same amount of pain. So our thorough exam is always, always, always um, the first thing on our minds when we have a patient in the office it can't always come from the elbow. There no. has to be uh, more going on. And so we want to get to that root cause of the issue. Absolutely. So there you have it. Tennis elbow, two main muscles, common extensor tendon, the supinator. Affects a lot of people that have that repetitive movement during the day, sitting at a desk, driving. And then we showed you a treatment, what to do at home. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much. Take care.